Hello and welcome back to another edition of the Big Match, where this weekend the Inderdale Stadium is the venue as Alloa welcomed Dunfermline Athletic to the Inderdale Stadium. Alloa have been an impressive addition to the Scottish Championship this season and their form against Dunfermline Athletic has been a big part to play in that. The main Alloa player behind their form against Dunfermline Athletic this season is Alan Troughton with four goals against the Pars in all competitions this season. Back then Dunfermline Athletic were struggling with goals but now they seem to have goal threats with Bruce Anderson and Ryan Blair getting on the score sheet in recent weeks. Can either Troughton or the new Dunfermline signings get on the score sheet once again this weekend? Well it's time to find out as I send you over to the match day coverage live from the Inderdrill Stadium. Bring on the action! The Inderdrill Stadium, here we are. And as usual we'll start off with getting the score predictions in. Kirkpatrick and Troughton to score for them and Joe Thompson or Bruce Anderson to score for Dunfermline. Big three points for Alloa against Queen of the South last time round so hopefully they can do the same again. I'm going 2-0 pars win against Alloa. C-O-Y-P. Okay so my prediction for the game against Alloa is 3-0 pars with Tom Beadling, Bruce Anderson and Louis Longus to score. Come on you pars. Dunfermline are the form team in the division so I think anything that we can take will be a bonus but the result we got up in Dumfries the other week will give us confidence and Troughton always loves a goal against Dunfermline so optimistically we'll go 2-1 Alloa but probably the sides have been quite evenly matched this season so 1-1. On the day we went for something a wee bit different, we've got a bet on. I put a fiver in my wee account and I've put two £2.50 bets on, I've got the rest of the predictor 6 that has not yet taken place, I've got all them on and if that comes through, £2.50 on it, I get £40 back and as well as my £2.50 and then I've got the Fife Flyer as it's known where all the Fife teams I've got to win and if that comes through I get 20 quid back as well as my 250 so see how that turns out. As it happens you're witnessing my first ever proper bet here so it'll be an experience for the both of us. Oh, heck. Oh. That's not bad. Oh. Shoot. Ah, oh, no. Never. <laughs> Go on, Lou. Good ball in. Go on. Oh, need to be safe. Not much to talk about from that half of football, so here's the scores on the door from the rest of the games taking place today. It's currently goalless in both Clipmanninshire and Dingwall, with Partick winning 1-0 against Dundee United at half-time and Inverness winning away at Queen of the South. I'm getting word that the second half is about to commence, so I'll now send you back over to the match day coverage. Let the action continue. Yes, 
Good job. Good job. Smack it. Yeah. Corner kick. Must have been a good save. One he is. Smack. Oh, Clint's a fight. Oh, Jacko. Oh, gone. Oh. Haggy off, Vincent on. Fighting didn't score, getting there. Bruce off, happily on. And there's your final score. Alawa 0, Dunfermline 1. Thanks if you're still here because for me that game was largely unforgettable and the fact that there is only like 4 minutes of actual match footage in this video shows how forgettable and like just uneventful the full game was. There was literally only one real chance for Alawa and then we created most of our chances, well basically every chance in the second half that we had. Obviously we got the goal. And for all that I wanted us to kind of walk over Alawa, I mean, we did it a lot with possession and stuff like that, but in terms of actually impacting on the goal and stuff like that, didn't really have that kind of effect. But five wins, five clean sheets in a row, we've got five in a row now, and you can't complain. At the moment, we're one point ahead at Inverness. We currently sit in fourth, three points behind air. Inverness have a game in hand on us. So if they win that game in hand, we obviously go out of the playoffs, but... We still have Inverness to play away from home and we still have A United to play at East End Park. So it's all to play for in these next, what, eight games for us and nine for some other teams. So it's an interesting running we've got coming up. It's every game is vital now because the league is that close. We're obviously looking to get that playoff spot now. And it's not entirely in our hands, but if we can beat teams like Inverness and Ayr, who look like the most likely teams that we could pull out of the playoffs then we've got a good chance and the fact that we've got this fantastic run going it's just been a fantastic turnaround by Stevie Crawford and for all that it probably wasn't the chosen choice by a lot of people when we made the appointment it's worked wonders for us really and kudos to him because he's done the job and so far it's working a treat for us Bruce Anderson getting on the score sheet once again. We've obviously got a proven goal scorer there and that's going to send us in good stead for the rest of the season at least and then going into the playoffs. Who knows what will happen in the summer if we can even think about getting him back next season but he's a finisher and it's exactly what we need. And yet another clean sheet for the defence. Obviously they've improved massively since Stevie Crawford's came in. Callum Davidson, and Greg Shields have all worked hard on that defence clearly. And yet another clean sheet, it just it speaks volumes of the impact they've had. So kudos to them as well because it's a massive improvement. But aye, that's it for this video guys. Cheers for watching. If you did enjoy, please give it a like. Comment down below what you thought about the game itself. And subscribe for more of this type of content as we head towards 1,000 subscribers. Until the next video, which will be the last word tomorrow, I'll see you then. Cheers guys.